you to kick off your lesson today. Today we're going to be talking about the parable of the sower. Get ready to worship with us.
crew family for your challenge this week you are going to look within your heart and see what's something that you can work on and do something kind for someone else so you can bake something and maybe give it to some neighbors you can draw a portrait of something and give it to a family member um, whatever you feel that you can do to work on your heart and show some kindness that's what you're gonna do this week Okay. Always remember in Matthew 6 21 it says for where your heart will be your treasure will be also Bye guys I know a place where we can go to lay the troubles down eating your soul I know a place where mercy flows take the stains make you wider than snow like a tide it is right Hey J Crew, today for your icebreaker you are going to be watching a video clip and in the video clip there's going to be four different kinds of soil. Your job is to watch really really closely and tell me one of the four kinds of soil that you are able to recognize. Just one. Stories of the Bible. The parable of the farmer. This is Jesus. Hey -o who is the Son of God and the Savior of the world. While Jesus was on earth, he taught everyone about God's love. He healed many people from their sickness, performed many miracles like calming storms, and even raised people from the dead. One day, Jesus went and sat beside the sea. A great crowd gathered around him. Oh, hey, everyone. So he got in a boat and told them many things in parables. Okay, listen to this. He told them this story. A farmer went out to plant some seed. As he scattered it across his field, some of the seed fell on a footpath where it was stepped on, and the birds came and ate it. Other seed fell on shallow soil among rocks. The seed began to grow quickly because the soil was shallow, but the plant soon wilted under the hot sun, and since it didn't have deep roots, it died. Other seed fell among thorns that grew up and choked out the tender plants. Still, other seed fell on fertile soil, this seed grew and produced a crop that was a hundred times as much as had been planted. 
When Jesus had said this, he called out, anyone with ears to hear should listen and understand. Yeah? Later, the disciples came to Jesus and asked what this parable meant. Jesus said, The farmer plants seed by taking God's word to others. The seed that fell on the footpath represents those who hear the message, only to have Satan come at once and take it away. The seed on the rocky soil represents those who hear the message and immediately receive it with joy. But since they don't have deep roots, they don't last long. They fall away as soon as they have problems or are treated badly for believing God's word. The seed that fell among the thorns represents others who hear God's word, but all too quickly the message is crowded out by the worries of this life and the desire for other things. And the seed that fell on good soil represents those who hear and accept God's word and produce a harvest of 30, 60, or even a hundred times as much as had been planted.